Very good morning to all. How are you my boys? Are you fine? Are you happy? Yeah, you are very free after all exams. Are you waiting for your result? Yes, of course. Okay, children. After our exam, yeah, we are and uh, we are entering to the final term. We have two more lessons from our Global English Learners Textbook, Unit Seven and Unit Eight. So today we are starting Unit Seven. Can you take your Global English Textbook? We don't want activity book. We need Global English Textbook. Open page number. 94 and 95 you can see here pages 94 and 95 unit 7 the name of the unit is let's go how do we travel around we are going to think about yeah a beautiful lesson you can see there are many pictures have you noticed yes open page number 90 for children open it page number 94 and write class work and the date What's the day today? Just to see the speciality of the day today. Twenty, ah, uh, twenty-one, three, two thousand twenty-one. You wrote it? Yeah, very good. Okay, so let's go. That means we are going somewhere else. You are in a school and you are planning to go somewhere else. Okay, where are you going? See, to think about it. The Okay the main purpose of this this lesson is to think about how do we travel around children how do we travel around we are depending uh, different means of transport daily maybe by bus car jeep some people by boat aeroplane yeah, there are different means of mm, convenience okay here uh, we are studying in another way that Uh, you and your teacher going to a park okay imagine that you are going to a park and what are the things hmm, you attract in a park so that comes later so we can start our lesson with a read and listen we are going to read and listen a track 63 it's about about a particular transport can you tell me children yeah it's about bus Okay here the name of the poem is bus driver bus driver may have a ride yes can you point out children please point out to page number 94 uh, the first okay poem bus driver bus driver i will read it for you just read along with me bus driver bus driver may have a ride yes of course please come inside find a seat then sit down bus club we will drive through the town okay bus driver bus driver the boy is asking a hey, bus driver bus driver may i have a ride with you can i come with you okay we want to join hmm, in a trip with you so the bus driver says yes of course you can come how how can you come in ah get inside first come inside please come inside find a seat don't simply stand there just find a seat when you come inside the bus take a seat find a seat and okay then sit down after sitting down okay just buckle up okay seat belt arrange your seat belt then we will try through the town that means we are going very fast be more careful okay so read the poem again bus driver bus driver may have a right Yes of course please come inside find a seat then sit down by club we will try through the town okay here you are going to listen cd track 63 from the unit 7 let's go now imagine that you are in a bus listen track 63 bus driver bus driver bus driver bus driver may i have a ride Yes, of course. Please come inside. Find a seat, then sit down. Buckle up. We'll drive through the town. Yes. Can you sing like this? Yeah, there's a rhythm, no? Bus driver, bus driver, may have a right. Okay? Bus driver, bus driver, may have a right. Yes, of course. Please come inside. Find a seat, then sit down. Buckle up. We will drive through the town. Okay? So, now you are in the bus 
I think that you are with your teacher. Okay, now you are going to a uh, school trip. Shall we listen next CD? Okay, then only our idea will be clear. Think that you are in a bus, okay, and you are on a school trip with your teacher. Now your teacher is telling something to you. Do you want to listen that children? Yeah, you are going to listen CD track 64. A school trip, a teacher... Yeah, yeah, you can listen. Track 64. Hello, my name is Mrs Wheeler. I'm taking my class on a trip. We're travelling by bus. We're going to Funland. It's a theme park. Today is going to be fun. There are lots of fun things we can do. We can slide down a slide. We can climb up a tower. We can float down the river. We can drive a little car. We can fly in a plane. Yes, the teacher announced a special news to the class. Today we are going to a fun land. Our students are excited. All are very anxious to go outside in a bus to the fun land. Okay, teacher says that we will see many things there. Anyhow, they reached. Okay, a teacher and some children are talking about their trip. Okay, the children are talking. Yeah, I can slide down the slide. I can climb up the tower. I can float down the river. Okay, drive a little car. I can drive a little car. I can fly in a plane. Okay, you reach in the front land. Look in the book carefully. Hmm? Which color bus you got? Ah, a yellow color bus. And what's the name of the uh, park there? Front land. You reach there. And what are the items hmm? fascinated by you? Or what are the items you notice there in a park? As you reach it there, uh, you got on, uh, or a slide is there, okay, tower is there, a river is there, okay, small little car or little car is there, and plane is there. Students are very happy. Hmm? Students enjoyed a lot. And, okay, look at here, fun land, in a fun land, you can slide down the slide, yes, you can climb up the tower, you can float down the river, can drive a little car and you fly in a plane. Children, it's clear for you. Okay, what are the rides there? Slide, climb, float, drive, fly. Okay, how can you slide? Slide down the slide. Okay, how can you climb up? Oh, sorry, where can you climb up? I can climb up the tower. Okay, where can you float down? Float down the river. Okay, okay, what can you drive? I can drive a little car. Okay, uh, in which thing you can fly in? I can fly in a plane. Okay, children, look very well. These are the pictures you can find there. These are the rides you see in a fun land. Did you notice? Okay, what's the name of the first ride there? What is the first ride? Slide down the slide. Okay, slide down the slide. Yes, what is the second ride there? I can climb up a tower. Okay, the next is float in a uh, float down the river. Next one, I can drive a very little car. Finally, I can fly in a plane. Okay, children, did you understand? Yeah. Okay, go to page number 95. Here we are going to see some new vocabulary words. Okay, and pictures are also there. Number one, okay, look very well. You can find, find here. Tell me, what is the picture number one? What ride is there? Ah, climbing. That means climb, you climb. Number two, you slide. Number three, you float. Number four, you drive. Number five, you fly. So what are the words, children? Read aloud. These are the vocabulary words, very, very important words. Memorize the spelling, learn the spelling, read aloud. Climb, slide, float, drive. Fly. You didn't read? Read. Hmm. Read aloud. Follow with me. Climb. Huh. Sit together. Climb. Be silent, no? Climb. Slide. Float. Drive. Fly. Very good. Okay? So, now, you want to listen? You want to listen CD track 65? Yeah, listen. Listen to the sentences. Say the missing word. That means there is a sentence. And there is a missing 
so try to say the answer when you listen ready yeah here comes track 65 climb slide float drive fly In Funland, what can you climb up? I can climb up... Tower. What can you slide down? I can slide down... Slide. What can you float down? I can float down... River. What can you drive? I can drive... Car. What can you fly in? I can fly in... Plane. Okay, children. Ah, you listen to the sentence. Someone is asking question in a far land. What can you climb up? I can climb up a tower. What can you slide? I can slide down the slide. What can you float? I can float down the river. Okay, what can you drive? I can drive a little car. What can you fly? I can fly in a plane. So, which are the words we studied now? Very, very important words. Shall I say it again? Yeah. Climb, slide, float, drive, fly. Look at here. Slide down the slide. Climb up the tower. Float down the river. Drive a little car. Fly in a plane. Okay, children. Did you understand all the transport there in a fun land? Yeah. No? Mm. You are in a park now. You are getting bike to a bus. Okay, before then, some activities are there. Look at four. Find it. Tell your partner to find something in the picture. Okay? You can find five pictures here. Okay? You can tell your partner. You can tell or talk to your friend. Find out this. What can you find out? Find something you can climb. Think. In a fun land. What can you climb? Or find out look in the picture so which picture you are climbing children here look at here which picture uh, in which picture you are climbing you are climbing up where uh, tower okay so find something you can climb I can climb up the tower next did you find an yellow bus look at the picture and find an yellow bus here could you find an yellow bus? Oh, your teacher took you in the yellow bus. Teacher told the children, we are going to the park in an yellow bus. Okay? We listen to the CD. Yes. Next, there is a small language detective. Look at here. Find a word which is something you do and also a thing. In a fun land, we met mainly five items. Number one, tower. Number two, slide. Number three, float. Number four, drive. Number five, fly. That means climb, tower. Slide, slide. Okay, float, a river. Drive, a little car. Uh, fly, plane. So here the question, look at the pictures above. Look at these pictures again above. Okay, look at these pictures above. Find a word which is something you do the action is that you do and also a thing action and thing both are same or the thing or the action what you do both are same and it starts with letter s what is that look at here yes i can climb a tower okay i can slide in a or i can slide yes I can slide down the slide. I can float in a float down the river. I can drive a little car. I can fly in a plane. So which action and which word both are same? Both are same. Let us start with S. Answer is here. Tell me. Ah, I can. Ah, okay. I can slide down the slide. Action is sliding. Okay. Okay, the equipment is also a slide. Both are same. The thing is same and the action or the activity is same. So what is the name? Yes. Right there children. S-L-I-D-E. 
a slide okay slide got it yes next number 5 draw and write draw a picture of something that you can do at the park yeah i can draw i can climb a tower i can draw that i can drive a little car i can draw that or i can fly in a plane i can draw okay i can float down I can float down the river, I can draw any one picture you draw, and but you must write a sentence like this. I can dash a dash. I can, yeah, say, say one word, say one answer. Okay, I can, look at here, I can, huh, read it children, I can drive a, what, little car. I can drive a little car. Yes, or I can fly in a plane, or I can uh, slide down the slide, okay, or I can <coughs> fly in a plane, or I can climb up the tower, climb up a tower, like different sentences you can write, but picture must be the same, okay children, clear? So anyhow, today we have seen a new lesson unit 7 the name of the lesson let's go we have started our class with a beautiful poem about bus driver bus driver may i have a ride yes of course please come inside find a seat then sit down buckle up we will drive through the town okay then the teacher took you to a small trip and you went to funland and you have noticed all these rides there Okay, which were the rides and the activities? Uh, slide down the slide, climb up the tower, float down the river, drive a little car, fly in a plane. And new vocabulary words like climb, slide, float, drive, fly. You learned new words. Okay, then there's a question, a language a detective. Find a word which is something you do and also a thing. What is the thing? Slide. Okay. What do you do? I'm sliding. I'm sliding on a slide or I am sliding in a slide. Then draw and write. Okay. I can drive a little car. Okay. I can climb up a tower. I can slide the sl slide. I can float in a river. I can drive a little car. Any sentence you can write but you must draw this also. Okay children. I think the lesson unit 7 beginning part is clear for you. Okay, tomorrow uh, we will write the same activity from our activity book. So read it uh, many times. Why? Tomorrow you have to solve. I will just write the questions. You need to solve the answers. The same questions are repeating there. Okay, children. Shall I wind up now? Hope that you all enjoyed today's lesson very well. We will meet tomorrow. Till then, bye-bye. Thank you.